Design Showcase is brought to you by these fine sponsors. It's Design Showcase, and we're here at Kitchen Design Center with Lisa and Scott. We are back with some questions for you today on remodeling. So sure. when people are searching out a remodeler, what are some of the things that actually they should be asking? The questions I get asked are, number one is, how long you been in business? Mm -hmm. uh, do you use subcontractors? Are you going to stay on my job? A lot of right. them are afraid somebody starts a job, then they take off, and then, you know, the job sits. Nobody wants that. So are you walking them through the process? So you're sort of setting an expectation for them, so, right? Yes, and having a supervisor out there every day can answer any questions for them. Another thing we do for them that they're not aware of is that when we give them our labor proposal, it's broken down on a spreadsheet. It's not, here's your number and guess what's in there. Yeah. The worst thing you want to hear is that it's in there. In there and you is it really in you, there? Then you hear about right? the headaches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm very open about that. I yeah. want them to be comfortable. Right. But what about working with a budget? It can get tricky. We try to listen very closely in the beginning. I always say to them, go ahead and pick out what you want. We can work from there. Or if you pick out the most expensive door, let me show you. We can get this door, but maybe a different style. Okay. Still gives you the overall look. What's the most, I guess, efficient and more budget conscious way to upgrade your home or selling it? So I would probably say the first thing you want to look at, what kind of equity do you have in your house? What you want to look for is, outdated items. If you can change those, sometimes simply painting the cabinets or simply changing the countertop, or even as simple as changing the hardware. Like if someone doesn't know, like you can direct them in that. Absolutely, yeah. I'll talk to them, tell them different ways to go about this. And a lot of people are so handy also. I'll give them tips if they're going to be working awesome. on stuff. Some of the things that you offer are words of advice that most remodelers wouldn't give because they're always putting a price tag on that. Right, they're yeah, more worried right, about right. the sales. I yeah. want them to be comfortable. Right. And, you know, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy taking the questions, you know, so it doesn't bother me. Jamie's Carpet is in business and locally owned and operated since 1965. Not only do they install carpet, they can install tile, laminate, wood, and other flooring products. Their extensive website will allow you to explore flooring options using your mobile device, desktop, or iPad. Take advantage of their complimentary in-home consultation service and have one of their talented and skilled flooring consultants help you choose the right flooring for your home. Mention Real Estate Showcase TV to receive 10% off your order. We're at Spaces this morning along with Lisa and Raylene. Now we're going to be talking about Asian furniture and decorative arts. I want to talk about these things right okay. here. Yes. What are they? These were originally to store your kimonos. They're hmm. Japanese. Okay. They're 19th century. Okay. And they're black lacquer uh -huh. with this, um, if you see them, the tops oh, open up. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Look, see? And look at the intricate design underneath. Oh, and the, it's all of beautiful. this is hand done. This design on the inside is called Makani. They're Japanese symbols and it's all done with a gold leaf and a lacquer. And it's an incredibly tedious process to make all of this design around this ribbed round box. And we have a pair of them and they were purchased in New York. Original price in these at an antique shop in New York was $7,000. Wow. But today, two of these are going for $2,600. Let's talk about this table. And this table is great. This is Chinese and it's what's called an altar table. This is Elmwood. It is 18th century, so it's quite old. It's just very decorative. It has this pierced legs on it, sides in the front. Elmwood is a very strong, beautiful wood yeah. patina on it. So let's talk about this. I love the hardware on this. Yes, this is what is known as a Chinese country style chest. Again, it's in an elm wood. It's also got a, a very slight red lacquer finish to it. It has the beautiful brass hardware. Again, can go in any room. Great for storage. You have a lot of different drawers and cupboard doors. It's more of a country piece because it's so simple and a little primitive. It's a nice color too because a lot of the warmths are coming back in. Yes. So yeah. this will fit nicely. So bedroom, kitchen, use it anywhere. Spaces consignment. Design Showcase is brought to you by these fine sponsors.